Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Gekakujo 3.1. Now, as you can see, we've actually just been beset upon by a bunch of ninjas, and I'm gonna try and yeah, oh, a brigand actually, but it is they are dressed as ninjas, so a little bit worried about them. Oh, there we go, take out that guy, and another headshot. No, can I, can I get it? Gonna get three for three? Can I get three for three? I can't get three for three by the looks of things. That is so sad. So sad. Okay, well, never mind. I'm just going to slice him in two then, by the looks of things, with my wonderful, wonderful archery bow sword. Yes, that's what it is. It's an archery bow sword. Okay, well, there you go. Done. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Anyway, as you can see, I'm actually at Kyoto. Yeah, I was actually trying to sell, believe it or not. I was literally just trying to sell, and they decided to be rude enough to interrupt me. So, yeah, let's just see how much money we're going to be gaining here. Oh, yeah, by the way, I did level up in the previous episode, and I have actually used that on agility and riding skill. So I now have this horse. I have no idea where it came from, by the way. And I believe this is actually the horse of one of our companions, but I did not take it from that companion. I have no idea why it, why it appeared in my inventory, but I, I did not take it. You gotta trust me on that. Did not take it. Don't know why, but there you go. Otherwise, we're obviously using the Masamune Nakamaki, which is the thing that I actually wanted to show you, but I obviously forgot. And we're also using a Yumi with a large bag of ceremonial arrows. So, we are now going to move on. And that's the thing, I would actually like to do the tournament. Now that Kyoto and, you know, subsequently the Miyoshi clan are at peace with us, we can actually do a tournament here, and our lacquer works is now paying out once again. And once we do the tournament, I think we'll probably go all the way down to Tsushima, and maybe actually head up to Sado first. I'm actually unsure about that. The Uesugi clan is actually not at war against us, so that's rather nice, because if they were, then that would make things much, much more difficult. But saying that, there are actually two factions between me and Sado, which is obviously going to be pretty difficult to get by. Ukita, the Miyoshi clan, obviously, and Chosokabe. And I think we can probably get by there very easily. Yep, it seems like we can actually get by there very easily, in fact. And the Ryuzoji clan is the only thing that we really need to worry about. But even then, we can just go from Hakata, and we can go all the way to Tsushima from there. But yeah, it seems like... I have heard that Sado actually does have some extremely good units there, and it might be a nice idea for us to get that first and then sort of stockpile really, really good units and then launch an attack against Ryuzoji. But let's just see how that goes. I'd like to go down to Tsushima like I planned in the previous episode, and then maybe at a later point we'll see. But for now, can I go inside? Yes, I can. Thank you. Phew. Okay, I was a little bit worried about that. Okay, so how much money do I actually have? I have 2,100. Hopefully that's going to be enough to place a couple of bets. Two teams with three fighters each. All right, and I have a bow. Uh, well, this is... Uh, yeah, this is actually okay. Because I might actually be able to... Yeah, come on now. Come on now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, there's a nice headshot. Where's the other guy? There he is. Yeah, take him out. There you go. That's what you get. <laughs> well, that was that was amusing. I was very worried about that. Every time I'm with a bow, I'm always extremely worried. Okay, so now I have a... I am a little bit injured, aren't I? I am a little bit injured, so that's not very good. Okay, well, let's just... Oh, look at that. Lovely damage. All right. Oh, very nice. Wow, we actually dealt a lot of damage. Good job, Elite Onabushi. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, if you've seen my old Gekakujo series, you'll know that I absolutely love the Onabushi units. And I believe, don't they level up from peasant women or something? Maybe not anymore. I think they've actually changed that. So, yeah, I think that's a little bit different. Two teams with one fighter. It's a one versus one. Well, this is not going to be very good. Okay, well, what do I have here? Uh, it's like a pole arm of sorts. I'm not particularly happy about that. Or am I? <laughs> As I swiftly eliminate Lord Tatakiyama. Well, that's, that's rather hilarious. Okay, well, we seem to be doing quite well. Two teams... With two fighters each. No one has a bow, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so let's see if I'm actually able to do some... Oh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, can I can I get another kill before he dies? Nope, never mind. Okay, well, hopefully I've eliminated everyone then. 
you know, because obviously that champion fighter will not go through to the next round, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, two teams with one fighter each. Hmm. Okay. Oh my, I have a pole arm. This is not good. Or is it? Oh, it's okay. Great Lord Miyoshi himself, take that. Yes, I'm hitting your corpse for no reason. Hmm, that's very disrespectful. Okay, so there's only two participants remaining, and okay, I have a pretty decent weapon. Oh no, I'm very worried now. Okay, I, uh, no. Yeah, that's what you get, there we are. Phew, look at that. I am at 1% HP. That is insane. All right, so there you go. We now have 2,420 renown and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Obviously, it is a little bit diminished because we've already won a tournament in Kyoto once. So that's relatively nice. We can actually join the feast now, which might be a nice idea because obviously we could then speak to some ladies and maybe we could get a little... All right, there's actually only one lady here. Hello, hello there. Yes, so... I would like to dedicate my successes in the recent tournament to you. And wow, we've actually gained eight relation instantly? Wow, that's actually pretty nice. May I have the honor of knowing more about you? Sister to Lord Hatakiyama, sister to Lord Hatano, sister to... Uh, what? Sister to so many people. Okay. Wow, that... So does that mean that they are technically all her... All her family, basically. Wow, that is insane. Okay. Well, uh, should I should I profess myself her most ardent admirer? Let's do it. Okay, we did lose two. We did lose two, but... Okay, so we could see more of each other? Okay, so she's going to now send me messages, I assume. And she's going to say, oh, yes, let us meet. And, you know, go from there. So, yeah, I guess. But, all right, so he didn't give me any relation. That's fine. And he didn't give me any relation either. Okay, well, that's... That's fine. Okay, so yeah, now we can attempt to visit a lady if we so desire. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that right now because I don't have the request. And also, I am going to be rest resting, restoring, rejuvenating, you know, all that sort of wonderful stuff. And then, I think we might want to take on a pretty large band. Oh, there's another tournament right away. I'm not going to be doing that, even though it would be a pretty nice way to increase our renown. I am probably not going to do that, mainly because the money that you're going to get is going to diminish dramatically and I don't really want to do that. So let's take on these Kinai Rebels over here. Or should I take on those? Yeah, let's take on let's take on these instead. If I can actually catch up to any of them, that would be nice. Okay, so there you go. So now we have 52 against 22. The main reason why I want to do this is because obviously I do want to level up my warrior units. That My Jimon Monk Warriors. There you go. Because, obviously, at the moment, they are the lowest tier. They can level up into veteran Jiman Monk Warriors. Uh, that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? But, yeah, hopefully that's going to mean that we'll have, you know, some pretty decent units when we actually take Tsushima. So, hopefully we'll be able to do that. Can I... Oh, they do have a bunch... Do they have bows? Oh, yeah, some of them do have bows. So, I'm not particularly happy about that. Yeah, there we go. There's level 19 for us as well. And a mounted odor retainer was eliminated immediately. Good work. Good work. Obviously, these guys do have pole arms, and they're going to use them as such. It's going to be very difficult sometimes to actually kill them as a result of that. So let's just... Yeah, there you go. Take advantage of their distraction. Yes, take advantage of it, forces. Okay, can I kill this guy? Yep, there we go. Wow, I gotta say, this weapon actually doesn't do that much damage when you're on a horse, but it does so much damage when you're on foot. I suppose it is maybe meant more for a an infantry to use, but even so, you know, you would think that it would do a lot more damage, but anyway, uh, why am I complaining, really? I mean, we are going to win this very easily, so I don't really see a necessity for me to say anything about it. But yeah, as you can see, we're gaining so many kills with the Monk Warriors. They're doing a really, really good job at, at the moment, actually. So yeah, I'm going to have to remember, by the way, as well, what the date is. I'm going to actually take a look at the date after we get out of here, and I'm going to have to remember so that I can come back and you know, actually get some more units recruited. So that's that's probably going to be really good to do anyway. So let's just 
Get all of those. Okay, so what is the date? June 28th. All right, so it was about June 27th, so it will be in the first week of July, I suppose, that we'll have to come back here. But, yeah, well, as it stands, as you can see, 33 veteran monk warriors, and that's what they level up into. So that is that is it. That's all they level up into. So that's fine. That is actually much more than fine. I'm actually pretty happy with that. And we're going to be getting some hired warriors, I think. I think the hired warriors are a little bit better than the shinobi. I think the shinobi are quite lightly armored, so obviously, yeah, not really wanting to do that. Okay, so considering I am probably going to, as I stated in the previous episode, I'm probably going to change leadership to, to 10 because, as I you know said at the very beginning of the series, Bruce Bertold was the you know, was the leader of the entirety of Japan. So it would make sense for him to have leadership in a sort of role-playing standpoint. So, yeah, I'm obviously going to do that. And otherwise, what do I do? I could go for some more iron flesh, I suppose, more athletics. Mm, more horse archery might make a difference as well. I think we're probably going to go for some more iron flesh at the moment. And I think, I mean, we have power draw 7, power strike 7. That's really quite amazing. And what else can we go for? I mean... Obviously, intelligence does have an effect on tactics, trainer. I mean, obviously, trainer would make a somewhat significant difference. Agility would obviously make a difference in terms of athletics and everything, but we haven't even maxed that out. So I guess I'm just going to continue pumping strength and we'll go from there. So I'll see you all the way down when we're at Tsushima. I think we have some pretty decent units to actually take that. Alright, so we are on the ocean waves and we're making our way to Tsushima. Now, I gotta say, I'm actually really surprised and pleasantly surprised actually that the Jimon Monk Warriors leveled up so easily. Because usually when you get these unique units, they either take a huge amount of time to level up or they're absolutely terrible. Now, obviously, <laughs> we haven't really fought with them enough to really know whether they're terrible. So I suppose we should just take a look and see what they're all about because... Yeah, they are actually pretty bad. They're, they're not the greatest, are they? They're not the greatest units, but they actually seem to do pretty well against those, you know, Kinai Rebels, and the Kinai Rebels are actually... Mm, they can be pretty hard to kill, so it's actually nice that we have, you know, some units that are a little bit easier to level up, I suppose. So if we want to go for, like, a Zerg-like army with huge amounts of one particular kind of unit, then obviously we could do that with these monk warriors. I'm really interested to see actually where the other, you know, unique units are and, and what they are actually. So, you know, let's, let's just take a look. Let's just take a look. Attack the mansion. The defenders come out to... Why? Why are, why are the defenders... Why are the defenders coming out? They, I mean, okay. I am kind of surprised by this i i don't know why they would come outside but okay it seems like that that is a very weird thing for them to do i mean uh, okay i did not think that that would happen okay well this is gonna be amusing then i suppose we're gonna just you know eliminate as many of them as we can obviously this is just uh, this is this weapon is utterly insane I mean, literally, look at the damage it's able to do. It's it's just got an extremely fast swing speed. I mean, there's nothing they can do about it. They cannot defeat this weapon. It's just too fast. I mean, unless I make a mistake like that, for example, getting hit, you know, then it's never going to cause me to die. It is just that good. Kill them. Kill them all. Yes. Look at that damage. That is utter insanity. Okay, so yeah, they have actually eliminated all of my forces, which is really hilarious in my opinion. I think that that is a bit weird, because that did not happen before. I had 55 units. 55 units should be enough, in theory, to actually make this a pretty decent attack, but apparently not. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. So, as you can see, we actually killed 39 of them, and... That is very strange. That is extremely strange. Why? I don't even know why that happened. They only had 70, and I had 55. There's no way that that would happen usually. I mean, in general, what's going to happen is if you're vastly outnumbered by, I don't know, what, 5 to 1? 5 to 1, 10 to 1? I don't know the exact ratio, but in general, that is just absolutely insane. 
Absolutely insane. Okay, well, and and now it's got 76 again. Did you see that? Look at that. It's got 70. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so it seems we might actually be unable to take Tsushima because it has this weird. I don't know, this weird thing going on about it. I don't know why it's giving me the massive battle disadvantage, but I guess I'm just going to rest and see what I can do after that. I mean, I have a bunch of a uh, bunch of a bunch of HP to regain. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're back at the mansion. Obviously, I just was waiting here for some time, rejuvenated my HP, and now we're gonna head in again. Now, this is, if this gives me another one of these rally out things, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Okay, it didn't do that this time. Okay, I have no idea why it did that the first time. That is, and now we're gonna just absolutely get cut down by the gunners. I think I, I would assume that the Tsushima gunners are the unique units that you're going to gain here so yeah now this is, yeah, this is this is great this is absolutely fantastic this is really really good i mean what what can i do <laughs> what can i do i mean literally they rallied outside and then instantly rejuvenated themselves obviously this is meant to be one of those you know relatively difficult things to take because you don't want it to be too easy to gain some you know pretty decent unique units but i am just astound astounded astonished whatever you want to whatever you want to say that literally it, it gave me a rally. I don't know why it gave me a rally outside. I mean, that's... I think that's a bit much. But maybe it was a maybe it was a bug. Maybe it was, you know, something else going on there. I actually have no idea. But okay. I, I don't mind. I mean, that's that's fine. I very much enjoy Gekakujo as a mod. So I'm, I'm very surprised that, you know, something like that happened, actually. But never mind. Never mind. We're going to be absolutely fine here. We're actually going to, you know, take this pretty easily, I think. Obviously, oh no. Oh no. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I know that you're gunners and everything, and that you kill me in very, very quick amounts of time, but please just miss, yeah? Okay. Come on now. Just, just miss me. Just miss me. Don't even look. Don't even look at me coming up to you with my huge sword and slicing you in two. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Very good. Okay, very nice. Okay, so there are a bunch of gunners up here. I'm going to see what I can do about eliminating them, because obviously our forces are going to take a bit of time to actually get up there. And, they're, you know, by the time that they actually do get up there, they're probably going to get shot to pieces. Alright, so yes. At least we're able to do this. At least we're able to take this and, you know, actually... Oh, level to 20. Very nice. And actually finally take it because obviously this is going to be our launching pad for our own faction if we can actually make that happen obviously i'd like to attack the ryuzoji clan it doesn't even really matter whether we're a mercenary from the oda clan either by the way i can just become free of our bonds quote unquote from that you know mercenary pop-up that comes up after a month and i could I could probably do that already. I don't really see the necessity to really be affiliated with the Oda Clan any further, unless if I was going to do a historical series or whatever, but I'm, I'm not really interested in that at the moment. I mean, maybe in the future at some point, but obviously, you know, Mana Blade playthroughs, they take a long time in general. So anyway, there you go. We actually lost a huge amount of veteran Jimon Monk Warriors, but we can get those back very easily. So it's not really a big loss. But there you go, we killed 76, that's exactly how it should have gone the first time. Don't know why they gave me the rally outside, but okay, I don't really mind. Wow, these are these are huge, huge weapons. I like the Mongol cleavers, I think the Mongol cleavers are actually really cool weapons. But in comparison to the Masamune Nagamaki, it is just terrible. I mean, look, look at the speed rating on this, 111, weapon reach is 142, it outranks it in everything, with the exception of the crushing through blocks and, you know, four more damage. But in general, it is just absolutely insane. So we're just going to let our NPCs take things, whatever they like. I think they have actually upgraded themselves a little bit. So I'm pretty happy to see that. And yeah, we really need... I, I think we need some inventory management, actually. Maybe we should get some of that. All right, so... I have enough leadership to control two forts. Yeah, I'm actually going to be increasing my leadership because... He was the leader of Japan, it makes sense, in a role play sense. So, yes, this is mine now. Yes, there we go. We have taken it. This is a black day for the So Clan. 
Grant us mercy and we will serve you loyally. Lord So. Oh, okay. Build me my wealth and I will protect your right to build your own. There you go. So, let's meet the deputy. And I want to recruit some men. Oh, yeah, by the way, this apparently gives us spice. So, if we want to make a huge amount of money, then we could very easily do that as well. Because spice would make probably, I don't know, 600, 700, maybe 800, dependent on the town that you sell it at. So... Maybe we want to go with some spice, because we're having some problems with money as it is. So let's do it. Let's actually get some spice. As you can see, 880. I obviously don't even have any space. <laughs> oh, I don't have any space. No, okay. I, I guess I'm just going to swap out one of these things. Is there anything a little bit less here that I can sell? Yeah, this is a little bit less than the hat. So I'm just going to take the hat back. There we go. There we are. A little bit of jiggery-pokery there. There we are. Okay, so... Now, okay, how long? Yeah, it's, it's seven days once again. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Now we have some spice, and that's obviously going to be pretty nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. There's the rhymes. And we can now make our way back to Hakata and actually sell a bunch of things. I don't have to worry about these guys, do I? No, hopefully not. Okay, so let's go in here, and we can sell the spice for 369? Why? Why can I, why can I only sell it for 369? That is really sad. That is actually really sad. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to sell the rest of my loot that I gained here. And I'm really surprised that it's only 369. Maybe I'm going to sell it somewhere else. Let's actually assess the local prices. I literally don't have any trade skills, so it's going to take me a long time to do this. But I'd like to see whether it comes up with spice. I highly doubt it will. No, dyes, soy sauce, and all that sort of thing. Oh, buying dyes and selling it at Kyoto. Oh, we'll bring a pretty tasty profit of 184. That's not bad. I might actually... Yeah, let's buy some dyes. Look at this. I could buy a huge amount of dyes. Very nice. So yeah, I guess I'm going to be heading back to Kyoto off screen, selling some dyes, and maybe selling the spice there as well. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.